Now to a Fox 5 exclusive, thousands of residents at a Hyattsville apartment complex dealing with extreme heat with no AC and sometimes no power for days at a time. Our Fox 5 Nana signed to Bonsu at that property. Uh, Nana, finally some good news today. Some good news. I'm told by county leaders that the Bedford Station apartment complex right here off of University historically has the most violations in Prince George's County. Go ahead and just take a look at these buildings that were built in the 1960s. We've been told that they've been neglected by previous owners, and unfortunately, it's the residents who are dealing with the years of neglect. There are about 600 units here, and we're told each unit has about 5 to 11 people living inside. Now, this is a large community that has a huge Hispanic population here in Langley Park who have been dealing with this for years now. This is nothing new, but because of the language barrier, their concerns they feel are sometimes go unheard. But this summer, it's been tough. Residents who live here tell us that when everyone has the AC running in their units, the power goes out. And when the power goes out, they are without, without electricity for days, meaning no air, food in the fridge is spoiling, and everything else that comes with a power outage. The council member of this district tells me that these buildings do not have the electrical capacity to sustain all the air conditioners running at the same time. But things are going to change with new ownership and some funding from the county. Councilwoman Danny Tavares says the new local owners, Jer Lynch Real Estate Partners, who are based in D.C., are in the process of starting serious renovations that include expanding that electrical capacity that will provide central A.C. for all of these units. Residents we talked to today say they've been left in the dark and they didn't even know about the renovations, but they want something to be done immediately. Problemas que no nos da mantenimiento, a veces nos dejan sin electricidad. Like um, the problem giving is like like when everything something is broken inside, they don't fix it, and power shortage because the power goes off. On Está muy caliente. It's too hot here in the apartment. There's no air conditioning here, and the heat is too hot to bear. The air they put is like this, you see, but it doesn't give anything. It doesn't work. On video. Now, that woman we just heard from, Maria, she actually just bought that new AC unit that you can see her holding. Our crew was in the area when we saw her carrying that AC into her home. She's just one of many people here having to deal with no cool air. Now, it's important to note that not everyone um, doesn't have a working AC or power. It's not the entire complex, but it's in phases. Obviously, you don't want one building to have the AC on and another doesn't because that's when the power goes out. We did reach out to the property manager group and the owners of the complex and in a statement they say quote we are currently working to address immediate issues to ensure our residents receive proper electricity which powers which powers the individual air conditioned units that was from Donaldson property management and the owner of the property Jerry Lynch also sent a statement saying our plans for the property include addressing deferred maintenance making immediate repairs to outdated failing systems and charting a path towards sustainability for the property and its residents now we're told that the county was also able to secure a about $10 million. Some came from a housing trust fund and a couple three million came from a pilot program. And they're looking to secure some more money to help with these renovations in this community that desperately needs it. Back to you guys.